Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. Hi, thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to walk you through a gem I recently found. I was donating some things to the hospice resale shop in Encinitas and I had just a couple minutes to browse. So I went to their front section, the boutique, where I know they keep the good stuff. This dress quickly caught my eye. I really loved the color. I love the geometric cut that it has. And this print to me was just so nice. I noticed that there was a signature on it and I went and I looked at the tag and it looked really familiar. And I remembered why. It's because at home, one of my other most favorite vintage finds had a very similar tag and the same little signature. I checked that when I came home. So I started looking at the dress a little closer. It also has, I've dropped it, a shawl that came with it, which I'll show you this, a little shawl with some cool fringe on it. So I always, I will suggest that you definitely really take a good look at the garment and give it a good smell test. I have bought some things that I couldn't get bad smells out of. So give it a good smell test and take a look for stains and things. When I looked closer at this, I found a couple snags now these snags, I know that we can get out. Uh, Donna, my alterations person, can get these out. It also has some stains, however. And the stains, I think I can get out, but I'm not sure. I know that I wouldn't wear it with these stains. Now, I do know this dress is vintage. The reasons I know, it has a metal zipper. It's 100% polyester, hence the snags, but they don't make 100% poly polyester really very much anymore. And again, the tag let me know that. It's also $16. So I figured this was definitely worth the gamble. The shawl by itself is worth $16. I have a lot of things I can wear this with. I tried it on, it fits really well. It's only gonna need a couple different modifications uh, if I can get the stains out of it. And then it's just going to be really a fun summer piece for me to have. So I'm going to walk you through how I'm going to try to get these stains out of it using my Laundress products. Okay, so here's what I'm going to use. I'm using the Laundress's stain solution and their stain brush. And I'll show you, we're gonna work that in. And then we're going to take the delicate wash of theirs and hand wash it. And I'll show you how I do that. So what we're going to do is just on this one stain here, I'm gonna get right on here and take and push, just start to mush it in like that. Oh, I'm getting excited because I already can see that I think this is going to come out. What I'll do next is I'm going to just take that, give it a good scrub, and then I'm going to repeat it a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is great. That I think is definitely going to come out. So I'm going to inspect the dress for any of those kinds of stains that I find, do the same process, and then we'll go upstairs and actually give it a good wash. So I treated a bunch of the stains. I really think it's going to come out. And now we're going to use the Laundress's Delicate Wash to give it a really good wash and give it a, give it a bunch of life left. So I have just my trusty plastic Target bin. And I'm just going to take and put like a couple squeezes of this. You don't need a lot. And I'm going to use that for both the shawl and the dress. I turned the dress inside out. And now I'm just going to put the cold water in. Anyway, I'm just, I'm giving it a really good scrub like this until the water gets in. Now we're just going to let this soak for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and see how the stains, if they came out or what happened. So while we're waiting for the dress in the, in the bathroom there, I did a little bit of research on Alfred Sheehan, the person who's 
tag this is. I went online and checked it out. And between the 40s and the 80s, he was considered the father of Hawaiian fashion. He is even the person who came up with the modern Hawaiian shirt that people wear. His pieces, especially his signed pieces, are really kind of rare. And I was checking on eBay, his dresses that are signed go for somewhere between $100 and $250. I'm guessing that the dress that I'm wash, watching, washing is probably from the 70s. This is probably like maybe 80s or so, not sure. But I paid less than $20 for each of the pieces that I have. I also love them. I'm not a fan of buying clothes and just collecting them. I'll wear them, but that feels really great to me. And I feel like it has a story too. I can sort of picture this guy in the 40s through 80s in Hawaii really popular, popularizing these great fabrics and prints and textures. So I'll channel that when I wear both of these pieces now that I know a little bit more about it. So I rinsed the two pieces and they came out great. You can't see any stains at all anywhere. Every single stain came out. They look really almost brand new. I'm super happy about this. It was totally worth the gamble of buying it with the stains on it. So we're going to let it dry and then take these over to Donna for a couple alterations and to take some of the snacks out. So here's how it fits now. We're at Donna's and we're going to shorten it a little, take a little bit of this down and also work on some snacks. So she's putting in a couple darts here. She's gonna put the sleeves down and we're gonna have it this new leg. And we'll pick it up and try it on for you. I picked up the Hawaiian dress and I think it really looks great. It's in really good condition now. No more stains, no more snacks. And these alterations, I think, make it look very wearable, very modern, even though it's quite an old, vintage, unique garment. So it has the shawl, remember the little shawl? I can kind of dress it up, wear it to even like a wedding or an evening thing with the shawl. Or I can dress it down without the shawl and maybe some flat sandals. And I'm also going to be able to use the shawl with other things, which I'll show you. Um, in some pictures too. So I'm happy with this. If you're in the San Diego area, please stop by the hospice resale shop in Encinitas. Great finds, great cause. Go see Donna at Donna's Tailor Shop. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing. Also, we are on Instagram and Twitter at The Dress Up Mom, hashtag The Dress Up Mom. And thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, dress it up a little.